You've got to get oxygen in you, that's why you're fighting me, so stop fighting me. Uh, that's what I know. Yeah, you're good, just relax and catch up. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic too, so... That's just the O2. You breathe through your nose though, try not to breathe through your mouth. Ground bearing 3175 Whiskey at the Charlie Ramp, ready to taxi to Niner. 3175 Whiskey, runway Niner, taxi via Bravo and Echo. Runway Niner via Bravo Echo, Sound Whiskey. Alright, airspeed checks, blue over Brown, 2000, set in the future, 3001 once, twice. We are on GPS source. Alright, gauges are in the green. No flags. Flight controls are free and correct. Trims are set. Electric jam is working, flaps, cow flaps are open, flaps are up. Charlie 6 here, golf golf, you number one, correct? Whatever. Who's number two? You can either be 75 Whiskey or Alpha Golf. 3175 Whiskey, Romain 9 or live and wait, traffic Cherokee, one and a half final, be ready to go. Romain 9 or live and wait, Sambos. Alright, we go clear left. The aircraft landing on the right. I do see runway nine. Your door is closed. You're good. You ready? Door is closed. November three one seven five. Whiskey maintain two thousand. Turn left heading three one five. Runway nine. Clear for takeoff. Traffic within a mile. No delay. Two thousand three one five. Clear for takeoff. Runway nine. Or seven five. Whiskey. November four. Charlie Tango. Runway nine. Clear to land. Runway nine. Or clear to land. One four four. Charlie Tango. All right. Winds off the right. Power is set. Gauges in the green. Fuel Texas flow. Air speed is alive. One Tango. Bravo. Clear. ILS Niner. Have information, Bravo. Full stop. Parking Banyan. November six. Eighty-four knots. Bravo. Turn base. Continue. Positive rate. Want to give me gear up? Six. Charlie Bravo. Turn base. Continue. Turn base. Continue. Base. And this will be. Base is going up. Here's going, going up. Here is up. Bravo. All right, 400 feet, begin our turn. November 490, Alpha Golf, Roman Niner, line up and wait, traffic, Cherokee, two mile right base. Line up and wait, Alpha Golf. November 3175, Whiskey, contact Miami. Over to Miami, good day, Sapphire Whiskey. All right, we're bringing the power back to 25 inches and 25 square. Number 75, Whiskey, contact departure 126.05. Have a good morning. 2605, you too, Sapphire Whiskey. <clears throat> Miami departure, Baron 3175, Whiskey 2.9, 4000. Over 3175, Whiskey, two. Miami departure, you can fly maintain 9000. 9000, Sapphire Whiskey. All right, I'll continue to lean and the climb, keeping the number one EGT at 1350. As of right now, the autopilot is off. And look, you don't even have to hold the controls. That is a well-trimmed airplane. We went to a 290 heading? 290 heading. Okay. The next person I called, I didn't tell him the heading that we were on. Oh, uh, now we're in trouble. Well. No, I'm just being sarcastic. Yeah, no, you should. It, it's, it's, they should know, however, um, it is a good habit to tell them. You know, that's how we're trimmed, and I'm hands off with no autopilot on. And that's kind of the, some of the keys, like when you're in flight training, to pay attention to, is that if you have an airplane trained out, uh, trimmed properly, even without autopilot, you don't have to sit there and be right. manhandling stuff and fighting your yourself. We're at a constant speed, right? And we're at a constant rate of climb. Yeah, so that's all you need to do is 
fish trim. And then even the, the same becomes true, which we're all guilty of, when you start getting into IMC, we grab the controls um, and start putting in more input than we need. But in reality, if you're IMC, if you're trimmed, we could go through a cloud right now and I don't necessarily need to adjust anything. I'll rest my hand on it in case the airplane does anything stupid. But in theory, you don't even need to do anything. 75 with key traffic, 10 o'clock, 2 miles northbound, 6,500, a uh, Cherokee. Looking for traffic, 75 Whiskey. Remember, there he is, got him, traffic, traffic in sight. Right no factor. Traffic in sight, no factor, 75 Whiskey. 75 Whiskey, you can see direct hurricane. Direct hurricane, 75 Whiskey. Blah, blah, blah. Over nine, seven, oh, now I have to do this too? Yeah, that's your job. Three, one, five. Twenty-five, still. We appreciate your help. So far, five to left. We're going seven, five, five whiskey. Are you able one two thousand today? Um, we can. Affirm seven whiskey. Seven five whiskey, Roger. Climb and maintain one two thousand, and uh, the military space is actually just about to go hot. The fighters have just departed, so uh, proceed back direct to LaBelle, Lima, Bravo, Victor, and then Lakeland. All right, uh, direct LaBelle, then Lakeland, and 1 2 12,007 whiskey. Thank you. So, All right, let's go. Three November Hotel. Back to climb power. Direct back to LaBelle. We came on the Direct. Enter. Enter. Okay, so that's clear. So that's 308. <clears throat> now we're in the climb. As soon as you started your cruise, do you know. want your car flaps open again? Yeah, let's reopen them. I mean, I mean, we're so cool, but I'll put them open anyways. I figured if he's asking right now with the weather being good, there's probably a reason why he wanted us to go up. Center, climb and maintain. Wonder if we're going to see some fighter jets. Uh, probably not. They'll never get that close to us. You'll never know. <laughs> They'll see us, though. Okay, right. as five seconds earlier Join before he called that, I said, let's see how loopy I get at 10. Now it's... Let me say five love two zero zero. Serenity 76. Watch me get super loopy at 12. Yeah, well, we got oxygen on board, and you can start breathing it any time you like. Also, keep an eye on your O2, because we do have an O2 sensor. November 7, 5 with the next sector's request. After LaBelle, flight heading of 310. After LaBelle, 310, sub 5 whiskey. Right. Number niner, niner, I'm sorry, November After niner, LaBelle, 310. Wow. What's up? Alright, well, that's where you're putting the oxygen on, so. In Miami, Twilight 569-127. Alright, so bottle is open. Okay, now after you open the bottle, huh? the next thing I want you to do is there's a valve that you just plugged in. Recognize there's a screw on that. Contact. Now put that. Okay, now that valve is open all the way. Okay. Now put that O2 on you. Well, doesn't help when it's just... Oh, well. I didn't realize you didn't have that plugged in. Who handed it to me? I'm sorry? So, is it this one? This is this one. Okay, yeah, so it's this one. Yep. Now plug that in. Miami, flight exec 200, 275. Okay. Exec 200, Miami, center cross uh, five miles. Five miles okay, north of Okay, none of that at a maintain one zero thousand. Uh, Myers altimeter three zero zero two. Now put that on you. Now that goes on you. Yeah. I want to take your headphones off for a second. I got the comms. One zero four zero Charlie two six five six level two four zero. One zero four zero Charlie Miami. Quicker you get that on the better. Maintain flight level two three zero. Level 230104 What's the matter? I don't want it like that. That's how that works. You put this on over put your it ear. On over. It goes on over your ear. You can put it over your headphones, but it needs to go and be held on. Miami is in the here. Three nine nine eight at four thousand five hundred. November 398 Hotel, Miami Center, the uh, Vero Beach House, Seminar 3004, report any altitude changes. Okay. 3004, report on any altitude You've got to get oxygen in you, that's why you're fighting me, so stop fighting me. Part of Miami, 604, Sierra November, heading 2401. 604, Sierra November, Miami Center, climb maintain for level 220. Okay. Now turn this valve. 204, Sierra November. So this goes up sign heading? to our altitude, 12,000. So open that valve. 6040 November, Clitorex, Sarasota. Okay. Open that valve Sarasota, to put the ball to 12. 
Call five. There you go. That's how, there you go. See now the bump. Yeah, a little more. Okay. Report here, November traffic. There you go. Uh, now that's giving you enough. That's giving you oxygen based on our altitude. Miles south, down at the Pilatus jet. Okay. Uh, so that, that'll get you some air. That'll get your O2 level down. Breathe through your nose. One zero four zero Charlie. Traffic ten o'clock. Don't get upset. Very normal. To be up here. And have some confusion. It's thin air. Uh, so I know. Yeah, you're good, just relax and catch up. Yeah, I'm starting to feel claustrophobic too, so... That's, that's just the O2. Keep breathing through your nose though, try not to breathe through your mouth. Well, one seven five whiskey, uh, I know. Cinemate Day 1 0 one zero ten thousand seven five whiskey. That's good for us anyways. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to check your O2 level real quick while we're up here still, see if you see a difference with the oxygen? Did you breathe through your nose? Level two, three, zero. Two three zero four center remember. What's that at? Ninety three. Yeah, that's higher. I don't think we really need to get in the habit of just leaving this. No. That up. So does this? So this are two separate, right? Yes. Okay, they so, are. So for plug some it in reason, first. I don't know why which, they're separate. That's because these are, these aren't the ones that we've been using. These were our spares, so they haven't been set up. All right. The other thing too is even even if we're not, I want to somehow like stick it in the in the O2 bag so that they're just prepped yeah. and ready. I'm but sure there's a way to do it. Well, what I'd like to do actually, well, at least on my side, that little hook that used to be here, if I can put it there, and so I can just leave it on that side. Well, you want to do it now? But yeah, I want it to come is from it? yeah from my left side. Are you over there? Yeah, it's just not okay. drug okay. over. Yeah. Okay, right, and then I want it on this one so I can access it. Yeah. Yeah, breathe through your nose. 200, contact Fort Myers approach, 126.8. 26 it just upsets me how yeah, freaking sensitive I get. Yeah, but it's normal. And you know, we've, we've read that women are even more affected than men by it. So, there's nothing wrong with breathing oxygen. Hell, I mean, that's... No, but I feel stupid that, like, literally I said, we need... Yeah, you just... We need to be prepared for it. I wanted to set it up, but because we're rushing... I know. Like... But see, it's not your fault. My fault we're rushing. No, Actually, it's by the nature's fault we're rushing. My but. fault that I didn't come to the airport yesterday and set everything up. Fine. I really need to text my mom. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're level cruise 10,000 feet. We have an indicator speed of almost 148 knots. Outside air temperature 56 degrees Fahrenheit, which is approximately 10 degrees Celsius. Uh oh. We have a true speed of 175 knots. And we have a ground speed of 174 knots. So basically, um, we've got zero winds at this point. And we're burning uh, currently uh, 10.8 gallons a side. I actually changed my cruise because we're in an economy cruise of 2300 RPMs. I'm actually gonna play with that in a minute and tweak it. But first we're prioritizing. And so you see Kim's wearing some O2. Her O2 levels um, were getting low. Uh, some of that is for two reasons. One is because the altitude, obviously. Second thing is, is women tend to be more sensitive to altitude than men. So keep that in mind if you're flying um, if you're female and you're flying, keep that in mind. And if you are a male flying with a loved one, uh, be sure to keep an eye on their O2 levels because they get affected sooner. And I'm looking at mine at 10,000 feet. My O2 is actually at 95 right now. So uh, I'm well within reason uh, that I don't necessarily need my O2. I do have it right here. And at some point on this flight, I may actually start uh, breathing a little bit because despite what people will argue and say that you don't, uh, it doesn't, Make, give you energy or make you feel better, I'm gonna argue that it does uh, reduce some fatigue. Uh, so I've, it's been my experience at least. Uh, scientifically, I guess they wanna argue that, but you know, uh, if you've, anyone who's ever had COVID knows that uh, you know, with low O2 levels, they get, tend to get out of breath more, they tend to get more tired. So it's, a lot, it's only logical that if you're flying around at a lower O2 level, 
that um, you're going to naturally get a little more out of breath, you're going to struggle a little more for air, therefore you're going to get a little more tired. And um, well, Miami Center, Diplo so that just naturally comes into play. Miami Center. So now, with Kim breathing oxygen, earlier she was, you were down to what, you were in the uh, 80s? I was 79.80. 79.80. Now she's bouncing between 97 and 98 on, on the oxygen. So you can see, breathing a little O2 uh, makes a huge difference. So we'll continue to monitor that. We'll continue to monitor mine. Mine's actually in the uh, mid-90s right now, which is why I'm not breathing it. So we're currently direct Lakeland at this time. And then you can see, once we get past Varzi, there's some weather that's creeping in. We'll see what the heights are of all that. It actually may be above us, so we may be fine sneaking all the way through. All right, now this is gonna turn us a little bit closer to the weather. Number 75, Whiskey Cutout, approach 135.5. 35.5, good day, 75, Whiskey. Tampa approach, Baron 3175 Whiskey 10,000. I'm Baron 3175 Whiskey, did you say you want to deviate to the right? Hold on. Now we were just checking in 10,000, looking up ahead the weather though, uh, we wouldn't mind uh, some deviations when, it, when necessary. 3175 Whiskey, certainly. Uh, deviations 10 degrees to the right, of course, you're approved. I'll have to the tight back in here in just a moment. All right, 10 right is approved. I'm going to stay on this heading, but uh, 10 right is approved. 10 Whiskey. 10 Whiskey, Roger right that. And uh, thanks. Baron, uh, 75 Whiskey, deviations up to 10 degrees to the right, of course, approved, when able to direct Troyer to resume the, uh, the route there. All right, 10 right is approved, when able to direct Troyer, 75 Whiskey, thank you. Thanks, and I don't think anything worse than the modern precip uh, along the T route there, it's just for your planning. Roger that, yeah, as of right now, I think I can continue a direct Troyer, but uh, I'll let you know if we deviate. that. Got the radar on, I don't really see much of anything right now. And then I can it looks, hear it. It looks meaner on, uh, I know, I'm like... on the Everdyne than it does on the poor flight. And 75 Whiskey, uh, Jack's approach as you're deviating to the right or you have your request to do so. Contact Jack's approach now, 118.6, we'll see you. 118.6 and traffic in sight, no factor, thanks, 75 Whiskey. Yeah, we'll see you. 118.6? Yep. Go. That's all. Jack's approach, Baron 3175 Whiskey, 10,000. Remember 3175 Whiskey, Jack's approach, your call number is 3007. 0077, Whiskey. Zero, zero, seven. Uh, looks like we're getting a little bit of rain here. Yeah, I, I feel like we're going to get in it a little bit, but... Again, if need be, we'll, we'll deviate right. Actually, it looks like the left half of the plane is getting wet, and the right half is uh... not. With the windshield. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to... No, I'm getting it on the boot. Who's that? I'm sorry, I was uh, coordinating something else. Legit, feel so retarded right now. For the next about 80 miles, you're going to be right on the edge of uh, moderate precipitation off your left. If you need to deviate to the right at all, just let me know, but I don't see anything worse than uh, light precipitation right now. A firm uh, will advise, set my whiskey. All right, that goes into there. No. This goes into here. Yeah. This goes into here. Yep. I'm shaking, so. Keep breathing through your nose. And slow everything down. You don't, the radio calls and stuff, don't stress. I don't think I'm going fast with them. I'm, no, I'm, I I'm feel trying. Like, I feel like, you, like you're, you're stressing. If you forget the freak, whatever, it's fine. Like, just slow it all down and we'll get over. Now, I do see a little bit of, a, what might be a little bit of a build up in front of us, so. Let's, let's ask for about 10 right right now. Jack's approach, Baron 3175, was he request? 75 with Jack. Uh, are we able to get uh, 20 right for weather, please? We can deviate right as needed, and see what's next, Troyer, I believe? Yes. A firm, 75 whiskey, thanks. 20 uh, right deviation approved. Right as uh, needed. Direct deviate Troyer. to the right as needed, we're able to direct Troyer, maintain 1000. Deviation right as needed, direct Troyer, when able, one, one, uh, one zero thousand, seven, 
Yeah, let's, I don't know how much of a buildup that is right there. So he says as much as needed. So we're going to go a little more. That's why. Let's go hit this over here. They are now 36 on the BR 36. Number 9, Pop Charlie, are you requesting an IFR pickup? Valley Airport. Is that little bit right there sneaking out in front of us? Six approach. You are clear. Checks approach, Baron 3175, Whiskey is now direct Troyer. All right, looking ahead at our destination, Alabama, he has a little bit of weather coming around it. Yankee Delta, the center maintain 9,000 in the descent. You'll have eight tens off your left at eight. The airport itself right now, seven minutes ago, it's marginal VFR. Oh, look at that, we broke out. How sweet. Marginal VFR. The other winds are 1603, 10 miles visibility, broken 1300. Broken 1800, overcast 28. 3004, so. Weather's not bad there, but as we zoom out, you can see there's little weather all around. And now we're here by Memphis, clearly there's a line that's starting to build. No longer factors to maintain seven Good thousand. news is, is that our next leg after this is all the way up here. 24, 23, checking on uh, 60 and a half descending. So what I'm hoping is that this weather, 24, 23, Jackson approach, Ocala, what I'm hoping is that this weather right here either dissipates or moves on, and then when we go, we can simply come up the back way and go. So we're still about uh, an hour, 45 minutes from getting our destination. By the time we get fuel, it's going to be two and a half hours from now, so we'll be able to evaluate that a little better. And because we're so far from here with ADSB weather versus satellite weather, we don't get a very um, high resolution November three one seven five picture of the weather. Contact Jacksonville Center, 127.8. 27, good day, Sapphire Whiskey. Jacksonville Center, Baron 3175 Whiskey, 10,000. Direct Troyer. 3175 Whiskey Jackson, Roger. So last Hilton, Vit 3003. Broken moderate precip at 12 o'clock and 25 miles extends for 15 miles along the route. Roger, we may need deviations when we get closer. 003, and we will may need devi deviations as needed. 75 Whiskey. Okay. 75 Whiskey City, I got you. I'll tell what was that last Oh, I'll say uh, we, we may need, need some deviations to the right when we get closer. 75 Whiskey. 75 Whiskey, when you uh, need the deviation, request it. All right. Wow. Yes, sir. I was just trying to give you a friendly heads up to let you know that we're going to be looking for that. And just like he said, hey, heads up, you've got weather ahead. All right. On that note. Come at me, bro. Number 3175 Whiskey, right deviation up to 15 degrees is approved in Greenville when able. Right 150 approved in Greenville when able. Sam, I was giving you. Greenville, I believe it's yeah. Oh, there you go, GF. Yep. So we got Greenville when able, so we'll go ahead and put that in now. So direct, enter, enter. That's a reminder for that. We'll actually go ahead and. You didn't request that, right? I did not request that, no. The 1674 Jackson Center, Roger. So normally, when I'm flying around, and we we tell them that, usually the response is, "Okay, you can deviate up to this amount as needed, and direct whatever when able." Told me to go 421 Papa Jack Center, Roger. And if you decide that you. Uh, want to head towards destination prior to a mop with this device. Oh. Well, it's, I We're understand why this. it was issued and it gets you pointed in the right direction, but if you want to take a look at Lily Intersection, Lima, India, Lima, Lima, Yankee, go. that might... Uh, the good news is that even though there's all this weather here, it's not huge buildups. I mean, we're at 10,000 feet and there's really... Right. I mean, it's a couple thousand above us, but it's not like it's... 20, 30,000 foot uh, tops. All right, so if you caught my hint at the beginning of the flight, I said the hat's the hint. So I'm not sure how well you can read it, but the hat says Ryder Cup 2018. Well, we're not 2018 anymore, but the Ryder Cup is in the U.S. this, this year. So we are headed to the Ryder Cup. Uh, we're, I've got to 
work, and as you guys, uh, as I mentioned before, I work in TV production, so I'm going to bring you along and show you what I do in the TV world, give you just a quick glimpse of uh, the uh, the live production side of things. Uh, for those who are interested, and specifically what I do, which is the mixing the audio for um, for live golf, actually live sports, but actually live TV production, but predominantly sports, predominantly golf. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to work most everything, and uh, based on the half, for those of you who are golf fans, yes, I was at the Ryder in 2018 in France. So France. So I've been fortunate. I've been able to go to. Uh, France for the Ryder Cup. I've been in South Africa for the President's Cup. I've been in South Korea for the President's Cup. So um, I've been pretty blessed uh, golf-wise. I've also been in Italy for the Olympics, and I've been in Brazil for the Olympics there as well. I was supposed to go to China uh, for the Olympics when I was in Beijing. Uh, personal reasons, I ended up canceling that, but uh, it was Japan. good stuff. No, I canceled China, Beijing. Well, last year, this year, the last year, is Japan. We were supposed to go to Japan, too. There was talks of going to Japan. <laughs> but I physically canceled Beijing after being booked. 13175 Whiskey, contact Tallahassee. Approach 135.8. Good day. 135.8. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good Whiskey. I don't get a buy from you. Tallahassee approach, Baron 3175 Whiskey, 10,000. Baron 3175 Whiskey, tell us the approach. Good afternoon, all awesome. summer 3004. 004, Sapphire Whiskey. So we are almost at the two hour mark in our flight. We've got another hour, hour and 15 minutes to go. Actually, it would have been another hour, but because we're at an econ setting, it added a few minutes to it, so we're an hour and 15 minutes to go. And so while in cruise, obviously, you know, we're past all the weather. This is the boring portion of the flight where not a whole lot happens. And so this is the time where um, you focus on engine gauges and engine management. You make sure you watch your all, everything and uh, make sure your EGTs, make sure your temperatures are good, your fuel flows. So even though th there's not a whole lot happening right now, the autopilot's flying the airplane, you still um, have to monitor what's happening. We can talk and have private conversations, but you still um, are always kind of just keeping an eye on the gauges, making sure nothing is out of the ordinary. Kind of like when you're driving a car, right? You're just going, going across, you're still making sure everything's working good. All right, so looking ahead to weather at destination, uh, 20 minutes ago, it is VFR. The weather has improved. So the winds are 140 at 3, visibility 10, scattered 1500, scattered 2000, overcast 3300. Temperature is 27, dew point is 23, altimeter is 3004. So if you look on four flight on the runways, it shows you the best wind without having to do the math. Got a low four flight, is runway 9. So I've already got the RNAV for runway 9, got the approach plate here. And you can see, um, so we'll go ahead and we shall brief it. Get rid of the weather for a minute. And the final approach course is 094. Four Alpha Echo, flighting one six. And altitude at, at one, Fanku is 1900. Seven. And the LPV DA is 979 feet. It says conditional which is 410 AGL. So let's figure out what that conditional is. So with the local altimeter setting, we can get 979. We do have a local altimeter setting. So, uh, right in with the altimeter, we can get 979, that's 410 feet. So I will come to my radar altimeter. I'll set this at 410. That is set there, so we've got our minimum set. Airport elevation is 569 feet. So, in the event that we have to go missed, it's a climb of 2,000 and climb left turn to 3,200. So, 3,200 is our missed approach altitude. Direct to Goki and hold. So, we're about 29 minutes out. As always, guys, if you like these videos, hit that thumbs up, subscribe button. This comment we're going to receive is your subscription to the channel. And we are trying to reach 100,000. 
So help us with that race. If you like these videos, share them with your friends, family, anyone you know that's into aviation or travel. Uh, let them know you like what's going on here and tell them they need to subscribe. Roger 4 Alpha Echo, to and maintain 3000. So I did set a VNAV profile in here. If you come to the Avidine, you can see cross 15 miles before at 3,500 feet. So those of you who have been following me all the time, you're like, well, Christopher, you usually put at 3,000, why'd you put 3,500 feet? Because the airport elevation is at 500 feet, so it's 3,000 HGL. And I want to take this moment to give a special shout out to Terry Alexander for being my longest active running Patreon supporter since October of 2017. Round of applause for Terry Alexander. You are the man, so I appreciate your patronage and for uh, supporting us on Patreon and for doing it for so long. That is awesome. That means you like what's going on here and uh, and we really, really appreciate it because you are the lifeblood of this channel. So uh, thank you, Terry, and to all my Patreon supporters. And for those of you who haven't checked out our Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Baron Pilot. But don't think you need to support us financially. Like I said, spread the word. Hit that subscribe button and tell your friends. And then looking at our next leg, now that we're getting a little more... It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Burn 75 Whiskey, Descendant Pot, discretion maintain 6,000. Pilot's discretion, maintain 6,000. Sunfire Whiskey, thank you. All right, Pilot's discretion, 6,000. 6,000 is set. And down we go. Can't All right, I'm pulling back the power. But because I'm using the autopilot, I'm actually letting the trim bring the nose down. But I'm keeping my power at 20 inches right now. As we descend, the manifold pressure continues to increase. I keep pulling it back to 20. And that keeps us at a steady airspeed. If I let the manifold pressure continue to increase as we descend, then our airspeed would continue to increase. Good solid layer. Oh yeah. Might go all the way down to uh, 35 because the field is overcast at 3,500. Twelve o'clock, five miles south. Traffic, twelve o'clock. Birmingham approach, Baron three one seven five whiskey six thousand. We have the weather and lower when able, please. Three one seven. Five whiskey, bring me approach, bring me three zero zero three. Say your approach request. Three zero zero three and RNAV for nine seven five whiskey. Seven five whiskey, descend and maintain four thousand. Four thousand seven five whiskey, thanks. There's seven five whiskey, turn left right, go key. Left left go key, seven five whiskey. All right, so put in the procedure. Uh, hold on. Five Papa, contact Atlanta Center one three four point nine five. Yep. Here. R and nine. nine. Yep. Then go key, enter, and activate. Yep. All right. All right. Flight plan procedure. Approach. R nav nine. Go key. Add. Seven five whiskey cross go key at three thousand cleared R nav runway nine approach to Chicago Airport. Go key at three thousand cleared R nav nine. Uh, seven five whiskey. All right, that means we're doing the full approach. Come on to Goki from the oh. same direction. We'll continue down the three. Yep, all right, so we are heading to Go Goki, 3000. We'll do the procedure turn at Goki at 3000. So this is when you're out in the areas you do, you usually you get radar vector to and approach. And then sometimes when you're in rural areas where there's either not much radar. Three two nine Mike Mike Birmingham approach. Or sometimes it's just what, runway departing. It's just quiet. They'll do what they're doing here, which is they're uh, vectoring us to do the full approach. So we'll have to do the procedure turn and then come Standby. come back on in. Departure Delta twenty. How do you hear? That's why I want to make sure that Autopilot's actually right, doing it. Right, starting to grip it. Nine Mike Mike. We're on the RNAV. Is that what? Yep, we're on the RNAV. For the first time we've done like a full RNAV. 
possible on our approach, yeah. Okay. Yep. No, I know what you meant. That's why I was like, yes. You say we. Mike, Mike. I'm going to help this along. Make it go steeper. Delta 2791, contact Atlanta Center 132.25, good day. 3225, Delta 2791, good day. 580, Hotel Papa, Birmingham Approach, Vector R, Navarone, runway 36. 75, Whiskey, report, IFR, cancellation, and air on this frequency on the ground through the GCO, change advisory, frequency approved. Uh, change advisory approved, 75, Whiskey. 66, uniform, how will this approach terminate? Are you going to cancel on the ground? Uh, right now we're, we don't have the runway, so we can't cancel until we have the runway. Alright, let's go for this approach. Silicon traffic, you have a Baron on the RNAV for runway 9. Silicon. Alright, so after Guki, we can descend down to 1900, or we could simply wait and capture the glide slope and take that all the way down. I'm usually a fan of just capturing the glide slope. All right, we're in LPV. Here comes the glide slope. And now we're going to land, so I'm going to go ahead and go... Put in more flaps. 14, area traffic, on Sucker, 267, Bravo. On the RNAV, CPS, runway 4 approach. Here are flaps land. There's a glide slope intercept. Whee! Yeah, got that a little, was a sporty grab. Yeah, I got a little aggressive there. I'm not sure why I got so aggressive. Yeah. Let's see if it corrects it. The thing is, is that it grabbed it. Yeah. So, then there's that. Then there's that. So, this autopod's been typically keeping me slightly right, of course, I've noticed, so... I got that. All right, so my missed approach altitude is what? 3,200. 3,200. So, let's go ahead and set the altitude bug for 3,200. Power back. We're a hint fast. <sighs> there we go. There's the field. Look at that. I don't know why the minimums is higher here because of that mountain. All right, so let's go ahead and flip back over. Birmingham approach, Baron 3175 Whiskey has a visual and uh, we'll cancel with you at this time. Tell me about visual, you were 3175 Whiskey is on the visual for nine and we'll cancel with you. That's or 2000 two probably. That's fine. Yeah. We tried. Yep. Silicon air traffic, you have a bearing on a two mile final runway, nine to a car. Uh, it just feels so weird saying 500. That. All right, we're 500 feet, we're three green, we're clear land. There's our light for our minimums. We'd be going missed at this point if we didn't have the runway in sight. And? Autopilot is away. And autopilot is away. <laughs> We're coming so close to these trees. Looks like it's got a hump in the middle. It does. Nice. Thank you. I made alpha three, but there's no point. Welcome to Silicaga, Alabama. 
I just feel like I'm saying it wrong, and I feel like I'm butchering it, and I'd hate to do that. You are saying it wrong, it's because... It's like, like a traffic barrier is clear runway 9, it's clear. I just, I feel like I'm butchering it, and I apologize to those of you who are from here, because I know I'm butchering it. This is part one of the series, where we are heading to Wisconsin for the Ryder Cup, and bring you along for some of our, uh, my work. <laughs> I can't say work adventure, but it's just work. <laughs> but I'll uh, give you a sneak peek into what it is I do. I see the self-service field over here. I'm just following the yellow line. As always, guys, like these videos, hit that thumbs up, subscribe button, biggest comment where you can see is your subscription to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. And hit all and share these videos with your friends. If you don't already, you can follow us on social media at Beach Bear and Pilot. And Cam at Flying SIC. And we're real big on Instagram, so if you're on Instagram, uh, check us out there. That's where we are the most active. Anyhow, guys, if you're into golf, you certainly want to stay tuned. So uh, be sure to uh, stay tuned for next week's video where we're uh, at the Ryder Cup. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, I was going to say bye, guys, but now I'm like, uh, you're not? see you soon, guys. Oh, that's fine. <laughs>